welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at June 12th, 2024's FD Pairs by Clover. Uh, Clover's one of our setters here at Gatch HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy, and it is a pleasure to be here for you. We are also occasionally joined by Philip. Uh, he will be solving one of my puzzles tomorrow on the channel. Um, we at Gas HQ set genuinely approachable Sudoku. Uh, they are variant Sudoku that you know, pick up and have a go. In fact, the link for this puzzle is in the description. It's down there. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. Um, now, uh, that being said, uh, you'll also find hat times. Hat times are our indicators for how quickly you solve a puzzle. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur. I don't know how to make my fingers work. Uh, do that. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all weekly. Uh, that being said, let's get into it. Um, so, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, that is each box, each row, and each column have the digits 1 to 9 once each. Now, digits separated by an X, some to 10. Digits separated by a V, some to 5. Um, and not all the digits that sum to five or ten are necessarily given. Um, yeah, that's it. Get into it. So, um, we have a concept in gas we call roping sometimes. Um, so, what is roping? Um, roping is a Sudoku term for when this happens. So, green is three separate digits. Four, five, six. It could be anything. Now. Uh, orange is three more separate digits. Now, it could be, like, once again, anything. Um, but in this case, it's 397. So these have, to, uh, these six, uh, three cells see all of these three. And they see all of these three. Which means that they must be three other colors. So we're going to call these pink. Now... These three cells see all the three pink and all the three green digits, uh, all the three orange digits, they must be green. These ones up here see three greens and three oranges, so they must be pink. And finally, these see three uh, greens and three oranges, uh, three purples or pinks, whatever you call them, and making that orange. So we can actually color code all of this. Um, uh, uh, I'm going to do something really impressive at the end of this. I can't wait. Um, so, uh, this is orange. Now, that is a broken path. We have a little Latin square that happens with uh, three sets of three given digits, and they don't repeat. Now, if you or haven't already noticed it, they go the same way. This is 948, which will make red. 613, which will make yellow, and now 1, 3, and 6, 4, 9, and 8 mean uh, uh, six separate individual cells. So we make this. Now, I'm just going to, rather than explain every one of them here, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit and just go ahead and carry. Well, not carry. Uh, roping color the rest of these. These are yellow, these are blue. These are red. Now, um, I hope this works. I'm not 100% confident that it will, but what we can do is because uh, <laughs> because uh, set Sven Sudoku Pad will select all digits via coloring, um, we can do this. Uh, so all the, it'll select all the yellow cells here, which makes this uh, one, three, six. Now. Uh, we know that orange must be 3, 9, and 7. Uh, unfortunately, I think my luck runs out here when uh, so this has to be 3, 7, 9. Uh, purple has to be 1, 2, and 8. And green is 4, 5, So, that does tell us some stuff. Uh, in the center, this is 1, 2, 8. Uh, this is 6, 5, 4. This is 3, 7, Fine. Um, now that all of that tells us literally nothing about any of the, but you know, I thought I would start with 
Anyway, we've got a bunch of digits. Let's get going. So this four here points at this uh, V, which means that it can't be one and four. So this must be two and three. This three down here tells us which way around this goes. So we've got the coloring up. Three and two. We'll take the two out of here. Uh, oh, I'm going to, I'm not going to worry about cleaning that up, to be honest. Now, what's this X over here? Now, this X sees uh, two and three, so it can't be two, eight or three, seven. And because it sees six, it can't be four, six, meaning it must be one and nine. This one down here tells us which way around this goes. So that's one and I don't know how I ended up there. Um, one and nine. Now, the only possible way I can make these cells sum to 10 is if they are four and six. This six will tell us that this is six and this is four. Five over here uh, tells us that this is the way around that block, uh, that uh, particular region goes. Now, one four over here tells us that this is two and three. Um, I can clean this up, but I would rather show you, I, I can do a lot of damage now but I would rather show you how the rest of this works. Um, two, three, can we do anything about that? No, I cannot. All right, cool, we'll go down here. Uh, this can't be two and three, so it must be one and four. Uh, so four over here will tell us that this is four and one. Four and one over here uh, means that this X cannot be one, nine or four, six. Seven here means this can't be three and seven, so it must be eight and two. Eight and two because we have an eight up here. Three up here tells us which way around that goes. Um, yes, that is three in the corner. Uh, this, the only possible combination for it is three and seven. So that's seven, that's three. Nine here tells us that this must go like this, uh, making this five and seven. Apparently I'm not hitting. Uh, I'm not in control. What a metaphor for my life. Okay, uh, one, up here points down to here, meaning this can't be one four. Uh, similarly, you could have also noticed that this one four points over here, meaning I can never put a one or a four in uh, this cell here. Uh, meaning five must be two and three. Uh, this is three. This is two. Uh, now, this can't be. Uh, this two and three means this can't be three seven eight. Similarly, all of those cells point at x. Um, and then I can just put the one there, but it feels pretty cheating. On. But the other way to look at it is uh, if this was one and nine, how would I put the one in the cell? We've got one there, one there. So it must be four and six. Uh, meaning I could put a five there, nine there. Uh, now, over here, uh, this can't be two, uh, two, eight, three, seven, or one, nine. So it must be four and six again. That's four, that's six. Uh, that is all the variant done in this puzzle. So now we're just up to six Sudoku and clean up. Uh, so that's seven, nine, and three. Uh, conflict checker will make this, uh, I don't want to say trivial, but pretty simple. Uh, one and nine's place in uh, box three there in row two. Oh my God, that's what happens after a long day at work. Uh, seven here goes like that. Uh, two, five, and seven, one, six, and three, six, and five, four, six, eight, two. Uh, if you're like, why is Conflict Tracker on if Bill's complaining about it? This is the work laptop. Uh, five and seven, one and eight, and now we're just off. Uh, this is seven, five, and two, and this has been XV Pairs by Close. My name is Bill Murphy, as it was at the start of this video. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world, you have a fantastic day. I will catch you next time. Cheers.